Senator Ted Cruz's stance on the peril posed by illegal immigration to national security strikes a chord, accentuating the perils of human trafficking and criminal syndicates. We've just witnessed history being made. Only 22 times in our nation's history has the House of Representatives presented and delivered articles of impeachment to the Senate. Only twice in our nation's history has a cabinet member been impeached by the House. The stakes of this impeachment are not some technical violation of law, but rather an enormous and growing threat to the lives and safety of millions of Americans. Every year, under Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas, we have seen millions of illegal aliens crossing into this country. Alejandro Mayorkas actively aided and abetting the criminal invasion of this country by criminal drug cartels and illegal aliens. And the consequences have been day after day after day, migrants dying. 853 in the last year. The consequences have been day after day after day, little boys and little girls being brutalized by human traffickers. The consequences have been day after day after day, hundreds and even thousands of women being sexually assaulted by human traffickers. The consequences, which the House allowed in the articles of impeachment, have been enriching the Mexican drug cartels to a level never before seen in history. In 2018, the drug cartels made roughly $500 million from human trafficking. In 2022, they made $13 billion. The single greatest friend the human traffickers have ever had has been Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas. Because under their open border policies, the drug cartels have seen their revenues rise 2,600%. We are of the opinion that Senator Ted Cruz's message echoes the democratic principles of upholding law and order, safeguarding border, integrity, and shielding American citizens from external hazards. When confronted with perceptions of national security jeopardized by challenges to societal cohesion, identity, and apprehensions surrounding illegal immigration, inquiries arise regarding the resolution of concerns about safety, inclusion, and apprehension. Senator Ted Cruz's inquiry is construed as a moral indictment of the Joe Biden administration's immigration policy articulating his engagement with the plight of human trafficking and cartel violence. Senator Ted Cruz's communication can be construed as an appeal to fundamental moral virtues of accountability, equity, and safeguarding the vulnerable. The examination of how the moral dimension of political discourse and the perception of individual moral culpability and dereliction influence worldview warrants scrutiny. The political discourse on moral assessment and reproach ought to earnestly contemplate authenticity, accountability, and culpability. Senator Ted Cruz's message is interpreted as apprehension regarding societal decay and the erosion of foundational principles. It is posited that Senator Ted Cruz encapsulates widespread apprehension concerning cultural dilution, identity erosion, and perils to American society concerning illegal immigration. The interplay of anxiety regarding identity, inclusion, and significance with political doctrine merits careful examination. Individual trepidation concerning societal transformation and the perception of safety threats should be meticulously analyzed. Concerning political convictions and attitudes towards immigration policy,